Hello, everybody. Uh, today's message. Oh, there's a new name. They're called the Love Letters. Thank you to one of my beautiful students, my friends, the heart. <laughs> love Letters. Um, yeah, one of my friends just said, Robin, they are just love letters. That's what they feel like, love letters. So, yeah, sounds like a plan. Sounds like these are going to be called love letters. So today we discuss the concept of loss. Nothing can be lost to you other than the perception of what you believe that which has been lost, once bought or gave to you. So something that someone has bought something to you, that person that you have lost used to bring something to you. So, so that might be love or joy or happiness. And there's a, a concept, a belief that that person I've lost, therefore I've lost all of those parts of that, that gift that that person gave to me. Um, but I've lost that, when really that's that is not true. So the love, the love, the joy, the happiness, the holding space, everything that is still available to you. It is not true that we grieve loss because we think the love that 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 one or thing once gave us has now been taken away. This can never be true in the realm of absolute consciousness. That one or that thing. May it be the loss of a lover, the loss of a parent, a sibling, a friend, a pet or a job or a car, a house, money or a diamond ring. All only bring you temporary happiness, temporary love and joy, etc. When you realise the love and the happiness that is permanently available to you, from your dis direct union with the true nature of yourself, which is light, which is soul, which is God, then you can be free from the suffering that the perceived loss can bring. This is not to be confused with the tears that flow when a loved one dies, for this is the way your body expresses, opens and releases the love that is present between you and its beloved. If you are also able to change the way you perceive the loss of money, a home, a car, a pet, a job, into reality that, that these experiences are brought to you, by you, in order to meet the fear of helplessness, and as the doorway to the to the to to your faith and your trust, these two will be seen as opportunities to reclaim the truth of your identity from man, woman, body to soul. When these changes are met with curiosity and openness, rather than judgment and contra and contraction, the veils of confusion can begin to lift. Little bite-sized love letters. Thank you.